Have you ever noticed that Inside Out is filled with small, subtle details that you can only pick up on by watching the movie multiple times? One of them, for example, can be seen when you look closely at the family island inside Riley's mind. If you observe carefully, you'll notice that besides the giant mental statue of Riley with her mom and dad, there's also a family tree right next to it. And this tree was there at the beginning of the movie on the first mental island, and it's there again when it's reconstructed after Riley returns home, regretting her decision to run away. The interesting detail is that the family tree doesn't have any images, which represents that Riley herself is at the top, and the people who will come below her will be the family she's yet to create like children and grandchildren she'll have one day. That's why there are no faces on the tree, as she doesn't know what she'll look like when she's an adult and has her own family. This is just one of the 20 brilliant details and clever insights hidden in Inside Out that practically nobody noticed. And we're going to show them to you now. When Riley and her family are moving to San Francisco, the emotions in Riley's mind are quite restless and apprehensive, reflecting how Riley truly feels. And if you look closely at the newspaper that Anger is reading, you'll get a better understanding of what's going on in Riley's head. That's because what she's thinking is exactly what's in the headlines of the newspaper. On closer inspection, you can see two highlighted news pieces. The biggest one says, future is shaky, which is Riley's real feeling. But what almost no one noticed is the second headline, which says, why does everything smell funny? And guess what Disgust says as soon as Riley enters the new house? Exactly the same thing that's in the newspaper, that the house smells funny. So, the newspaper sort of predicts what Riley will feel shortly thereafter, in addition to what she's already thinking at that moment. Pretty cool, right? Entering the journey of joy and sadness through Riley's mind as they seek their way back to the control center of emotions, we all know they meet Bing Bong. And at a certain moment when the three of them are together, something quite interesting happens. They hop on a train, and you can see some boxes labeled facts and one labeled opinion underneath. And at one point, Joy accidentally knocks over a box of facts and one of opinions, causing several things to fall out. Bing Bong then says it's no big deal, this happens all the time and it probably ends up mixing various facts and opinions and putting them in the same boxes. Could this be a prophecy about fake news? <laughs> it sure seems like it. A small detail that few people notice, but was carefully thought out by the Inside Out team, is that throughout the movie, the colors of Riley's clothes change. For example, we notice that early on she's wearing a multicolored sweater, which shows that her emotions are under control. But when she's at school, a new and insecure environment, she prefers to hide the sweater and put on a yellow coat. And when joy and sadness are already lost and she decides to run away, she's wearing darker toned clothing. This change in colors reflects the girl's emotional state, which becomes increasingly somber as the movie progresses. It's becoming more and more common for Disney to feature Pixar characters in its theme parks. And in Inside Out, we see a kind of payback in quotation marks. When we see Bing Bong on top of some books, looking at the train inside Riley's mind, you can notice underneath, next to him, a picture of Figment. Figment is a purple dragon that's the face of one of Walt Disney World's most famous attractions, Journey into Imagination which has been around since 1983. When Riley, through Joy, comes up with the idea to go buy pizza with her mom, but they're disappointed to find out there's only broccoli pizza, they are walking through the city streets. And they pass by some shops with interesting services and messages. For example, one of them specializes in massages for animals, very San Francisco style. Besides this exotic service, there are also small signs in the shop informing that the store is open almost every day, but it doesn't say which days those are. This is a playful nod to San Francisco, where many say it's common for establishments to only operate when the owners feel like it. <laughs> Riley's family moved to San Francisco because of her dad's job, which seems to be involved in some technology startup project among the thousands in the city. And when they've just arrived in the city, he receives a call and you can notice that his cell phone is an iPhone. This is one of Pixar's tributes to one of its founders, Steve Jobs, who also co-founded and was the president of Apple, the company that produces iPhones. Another reference to the Bitten Apple brand is the sound that the boyfriend-making machine makes when we see Riley's ideal boyfriend coming out of the, in quotes, oven. This is the same sound emitted by the iPhone, Steve Jobs would be proud. About Riley's imaginary boyfriend, he's basically a mix of two super famous pop stars, Harry Styles, whom the creator's daughter, who served as inspiration for Riley, was a real fan of. But he also has some hints of Justin Bieber, which becomes clear when he says he's from Canada, Justin's homeland. Who the heck is that? Imaginary boyfriend. I would die for Riley. Oh, huh. I've never seen him before. I live in Canada. Regarding Riley's dad, we can see that he must have been an excellent student, as he proudly displays a sticker on the back of his car that says, Honor Student A+. The scene is quite quick, so you have to pause to see it. 
Since we're talking about things inside Riley's head, we can notice some interesting things in there. For example, there's a house of playing cards inside. What's interesting is that the queen figure looks like her mom, and the king has her dad's face. Still talking about the deck of cards in Riley's mind, she's in there too, but in a category she created for herself. Instead of the traditional J for Joker, the card with the protagonist's face has an R for Riley. So, she's not the queen, but more like a princess. <laughs> But she's definitely not the Joker. In fact, the R for Riley is also printed on the back of all the cards. And to show that these cards aren't just in Riley's head, we see her building a house of cards with identical cards on the table in her new home. Of course, before the castle collapses and she has a fit of rage. <laughs> Speaking of castles, but moving away from playing cards and going to real castles, those who were sharp noticed that the movie features the famous Disney castle, which is part of the opening of all the company's productions. The detail is that it's in Imagination Land, being completely destroyed. This makes me wonder, could it be some kind of internal critique by Pixar of Disney? Each of the emotions has its own color, as we all know, including red, purple, yellow, green, and blue. But Joy is an exception because, despite being predominantly yellow, her aura, which surrounds her particle structure, is actually blue, like the color of her hair. According to the character's creators, this is because she's inspired by a star and is therefore a source of light. This is also why she's the only person in the movie without a shadow. When Joy and Sadness meet Bing Bong in the middle of the long-term memory maze, he empties his bag to place the memories that Joy wants to take back to headquarters. And the last thing he takes out is a boot that may seem random, but it's not because it's the same boot that appears in the movie WALL-E, where the plant that saves humanity is found. Another detail that few people notice in the movie is that when Joy and Sadness return from their journey, there are only green, purple, and red memory orbs. These were generated by the three emotions that remained in the control room when the other two were out. When Joy and Sadness and Bing Bong arrive at the Dream Productions location, there are some small details that go unnoticed by most. For example, in the background of the scene, we can see a Dream Production employee wearing Mickey Mouse's outfit. It seems like he's a bit tired of his job. Does this mean Riley has some issues with the Disney character? Another small detail that is just a quick comment that some may not have noticed, but it's interesting to mention. When the family is traveling from Minnesota to California, we see that at some points, Riley's dad is driving, and at other times, it's her mom. This means they didn't stop during the likely 2,000 miles they covered between the two states. It's a long trip that lasted more than 24 hours. It's a good way to make progress on the journey. One of Riley's classmates wears a t-shirt with a skull on it. This is a clear reference to Sid from Toy Story, the mischievous kid who enjoyed breaking his toys for fun. There's a short scene in Inside Out that takes place after the events of the movie and was used in a commercial, where the same girl is seen again behind Riley's parents, sitting and watching the hockey game next to her father in the arena. These were the 20 hidden details in Inside Out that you probably hadn't noticed. And to keep having fun with us, we've selected these two videos for you to watch. Just click on one of them and continue your journey with us.